Hi, Michelle. Today we're going to meet a Takumi or innovator who came up with an invention that's got something to do with this. Road marking. This is Tottori City in Tottori Prefecture. The area is mainly known for manufacturing electronic goods. I visited a company here that constructs traffic safety facilities such as road markings and traffic signs. This is today's Takumi or innovator, Koji Ogura. For many years, he was part of the design and development department at a leading electronics manufacturer. I heard that you invented something very interesting. That's right. What is it that you invented? Uh, this is it. What is it? It's a robot. This is a robot that draws the road markings preliminary lines. Underneath the robot, there's a disc-shaped marking chalk. The marking chalk touches the surface of the ground and draws lines as the robot moves. The outline is first made by computer. The machine is capable of making straight lines and intricate curves. We asked them to draw our logo, which is the kanji character Takumi. Well, I've been told that it's easy to use, so I'll give it a try. First, press this button. And it's going to be ready. Run. So, let's go. I wasn't actually operating the machine. I just pressed the start button and the robot moved on its own. The way it moves is really adorable. It's finished in no time. Look at that. This is great. It took about 20 minutes for the robot to draw this. The character Takumi has a lot of curves, but it's drawn beautifully. It's very nicely drawn. You can see the word Takumi perfectly. Until now, the preliminary lines were all drawn by hand using chalk or string lines. But as you can see, it meant that they needed additional auxiliary lines. And erasing them afterwards required more work. It was also hard to figure out which part needed to be painted at first glance. The road marking industry was introduced to Japan prior to the Tokyo Olympics in 1964, but it hasn't changed since then. It's still done the old way. There was another reason behind the creation of this robot. Working on busy roads meant that the workers faced the constant risk of accidents. Creating this robot would protect the workers' lives. That's when the Takumi was called upon. He immediately set to work and enlisted the help of former co-workers from his electronic manufacturing days. They set out to do a trial run with a prototype, but stumbled across an unexpected problem. The machine went off course after just two meters. Well, the test run was just terrible. I guess we assumed that the roads were generally flat. Roads are usually made higher in the center to facilitate drainage. It's different from road to road, but there's usually a slope on both sides starting from the center. To give it stability, the Takumi set his eyes on the robot's center of gravity. In the prototype, the center of gravity was exactly in the center of the vehicle. But this caused the vehicle to fall to the lower side of the slope and then slide towards the center line. 
the Takumi adjusted it so that the center of gravity was directly above the driving wheels in the front. As a result, the robot was able to move forward without going off course. The Takumi also used a laser to improve the robot's precision. First, we placed two poles as a reference point in the drawing field. Laser reflecting sheets are wrapped around the poles. The robot irradiates a laser beam and determines its position in relation to the two poles. It's then able to calculate its position based on all the angles. The robot checks its position and draws according to the program data. The development process took three years and four months. Now after hundreds of test runs, it's finally complete.